<laughs> okay, so this poem is called Omo. My grandmother is a woolen butterfly, furled and foiled within her sweater hands, roped against her chest, loose knots woven with azure veins. She nests into her armchair, unfolds herself, and she is a flower, petals pushed into a halo to receive the sun. Her lips peel into a sleepy smile, fruit of a lazy afternoon, lemon light spilling through tilted shades and bud puddling in buttery pools on the floor. This is the time of my childhood. Pudgy fingers splayed across the soft blue carpet because we had just come from the zoo. With its parade of animals and macaroni and cheese at the treetop cafe, a knowing I was the luckiest girl in the entire universe because I got to sit by the big glass window and watch the monkey swing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and my grandmother would entwine her fingers like loving tree branches through mine. Fast forward a few years and those afternoons were spilled into early school years. Afternoons peppered with my high-pitched voice telling stories about my school day, about falling off the monkey bar and skinning my knee and the peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunchtime and the poems tacked on the bulletin board in my classroom and my grandmother would smile and nod her head because she is such a good listener and I knew I could tell her anything. A few years later, my knuckles were knobbier, crunched against the carpet all the same, and she would read a report. Cobbled together out of our adventures at a goat ranch, a lavender farm, an ancient museum, they were the most magnificent adventures. Because I knew my friends at school were never so lucky, never so blessed to be gifted with homeschool field trips with the greatest grandmother anyone could ever have. And her fingers would scuttle across the cobblestones of my loopy letters and tell me it was perfect. And it wasn't, with its garbled grammar and mild misspellings, but to her it was, and that was all that mattered. And then the living room shifted, tilted and melted, and became a new cathedral, a temple to afternoon catnaps and long conversations. So I just want to say, as I'm standing here in front of a microphone, thank you, Grandma, for the afternoons we spent in church in your living room. So thank you, Omo, for more than you know. <laughs>